Hi, this is Kitten Von Mew. Uh, we're just off to Twinwood. I thought I'd leave you with a short tutorial on how to do victory rolls. It's very quick, very easy, and with a little bit of practice, anyone can do it. So hopefully we'll see some of you at Twinwood. I have been asked on several occasions whether I'd do a basic hair tutorial for 1940s hairstyles. Um, I've reached my 99th blog post, so this will be my 100th, so a great time to do it. Um, I thought I would show you how to do really easy victory rolls. Uh, it's, I'm on my way to Twinwood today, uh, so I'm about to do my hair for that anyway. It's unfortunately way too damp for me to do uh, the curls at the back, so there's no point in me showing you that today. So I'm going to concentrate on just the victory rolls, and I'll show you some of my... Um, Old Faithfuls, Tresemme Freeze Hold Spray, this stuff is amazing and it's got me through some very windy days. Uh, this is an Old Faithful, uh, my gas curling tong that's been through the wars uh, and has been just amazing. But this is the most important bit for me. Mr Moo, what are you doing? Do not say make my hair dirty, which I did in the first take, so I won't use that, I'll use something else. Because um, I colour my hair and the conditioner that you use with the colour uh, makes your hair so silky, uh, you need to bring some of that, um, what would you call it, dirtiness back into your hair <laughs> with a bit of hairspray. <laughs> so what you do, you just spray through and then brush and that should help mat your hair a little bit which will help when you want to do any hairstyling. It also kind of works if you don't want to use a setting lotion because I don't use any of that stuff. So, now it's a bit more manageable. I take a section from behind my ear to the top of my head. Notice I've got some short bangs as well, so I don't want to really catch those in, but it's not too much of a big deal if they do. Take a bit more. Now, if my hair is being very unruly and is too silky, I will um, back comb it to help it keep its shape. But I shouldn't need to do that. So, I just put a little bit more hairspray in. And then I take the gas tong cylinder. And you can use uh, moisturiser bottles, and body spray bottles, things like that. Um, that you want to be the same size as your bangs. You've got to be really careful because I used to use toilet rolls which were great but they used to make me look like Minnie Mouse because they're so big but at least they're nice and light to use. So you'll find something that's perfect for you. Now just wind your hair around and bring it to the top of your head. Pull your cylinder out and just tuck any unruly bits in like so and then you want to crisscross two hairpins so just take the first one put it in diagonally and then take your second one and because I've used this fantastic hairspray it's already holding its shape really well and then I just take one more to put down the centre if you want it to be extra sturdy just put another one at the back here, but at the moment this one's behaving itself, so I don't need to do that. Now, I do the next one. I know it seems like I'm using a heck of a lot of hairspray with this, but I'm outdoors a lot with these events, so you need it. You want it to stay in. If you're going to a blitz ball, or an indoor event, you don't need quite as much hairspray unless you do a lot of dancing and you want it to stay in. So, I'm winding that section of hair around my cylinder again, bring it to the top of my head and pull it out, and then I'm going to crisscross those pins again. like so. I try and get these matte pins, you can find them in chemist boot stores and um, beauty supplies online. 
but they don't show up as much as the more shiny ones that you're used to finding in in the shops. So if you can find some matte ones, they I think they're called blending grips and they're really really good. Now with my short bit there are a few things I can do with this but I'm going to go with my signature curls Whoop. That's it. I'm going to take this section and I'm just going to use my gas tong to curl it hopefully this will turn on yes if you don't want to use gas tongs or um, your normal electric tongs you can um, do what I do if I haven't got it with me and I wind it round a biro or a pencil um, and after I've hairsprayed it, grip it then you can either keep it like that, let it dry and set and then take the grip out or if you um, blitz it with your hair dryer and that will help set it once it's got really hot then let it cool and then it's set same thing but this is just a bit quicker So that's the first one. I think I might do three today. So take the next one. Now you don't have to keep them as these kiss curls. You can brush them out so they can have this um, effect of a side bang. And by curling these, you can actually do quite a lot with them take that bit as well. You can even separate them into more curls and then start pinning them so they're more at the top of your head and working them through. You don't have to just keep them as they are. Now on horrible windy days like today I'll probably need to uh, grip these so they stay on my head. At the moment they feel fine but with the weather that we've got at the moment they won't stay like this so for now I'm going to grip these and then spray them again and I may be able to take them out the grips out when I get to the event but it doesn't look that way at the moment there you go. So three little curls. You can just move those around with your fingers. And then I spray the heck out of them so they won't budge. And then the unruly bits I'm just pat down. Spray my victory rolls so they're not going anywhere. And then with the back of your head, you can either put in a hair. Um, hair scarf and put the bow at the top um, you can also put a snood at the back and then grip it so it's at the back of the victory roll so you don't see the elastic um, or a hat which is what I'm going to be doing today and there you have it, easy peasy so all you need is a cylinder hairspray and lots of these guys so make sure you try and have a look for the matte ones which are the blending grips and uh, have fun testing it out. I'll speak to you soon.